Paragon, my friends. Don't you have to do work at home, remove some rocks or make a big hole for your foundations? Then this is the tool you need, the chipping hammer Metabo MHE96. I have right here. Look at this tool. It's so, so, so big. We are going to see all the attachments we have uh, we are going to put it on test. This tool costs around 900 euros. We are going to remove it from the box. It came with the high performance grease and also some different picks and different hands. Okay, it's an electric creeping hammer. It has 1600 watts of power. Okay, we can adjust the grip here by screwing or unscrewing. Then we can place this attachment here if we want, or we can place it here depending on the job we are going to do. We can place it in the place we prefer. Also, we can place it in the other side. The maximum impact rate is 1,900 pounds per minute. It can sound quite loud, up to 104 decibels, so you need to wear air protections. It weighs 11 kilograms and came with a cable with 6 meters long. The tool should be cleaned regularly, often truly through all the air vents using a vacuum cleaner or by blowing in dry eye. Prior to this operation, separate the power tool from the power source and wear protective glasses and dust mask. Okay, we are going to change the tool. Now we have put this, you can select your favorite. I have several there, more longer, shorter, I'm playing. Okay, this goes very good for the work I'm doing now. To remove the tool, what we have to do is to push here. And the tool goes out. And now we put our second favorite one. For, or the one that we need for the new work. And we do the same. Okay, good, like this. Here we have the trigger, we can press and release or we can make it steady or hold it there like this. Then we can get grab from here and from there, from the both sides. And then to release it, we press again. Then here we can select the intensity for the work we have. If we move the roulette in this direction, we will get more power. If we get to this direction, less power. And then we have this button here to select the hammer functionality, or we can swap, or we can swap to the drill functionality.
I hope this video has been useful for you. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. If you have questions, leave it in the comments of the video. Thank you for watching and see you in next video.